Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am really happy to see you again. In this video, I'll be try to explain something about COD, chemical oxygen demand. Okay, COD of a wastewater sample. How to determine the COD of a wastewater sample? That is the chemical oxygen demand of a wastewater sample. First, we'll see part A. That means what we should be filled um, in the burette. Let let us prepare that first in the part A. Um, that is what we'll do in the part A is that uh, first we'll consider this as a conical flask, and we'll be taking the FES crystals, weigh out the given FES crystals, and these crystals should be added into this conical flask. After adding that. We should dissolve this uh, this crystals how do you dissolve will add half test tube of dilute h2so4 okay we'll be adding that after that will be dissolved and dilute it with water up to the mark okay we have prepared this standard fas solution to find the normality of fas we have a formula that is the weight of FAS taken that is this crystals that we have taken into 4 by the equivalent weight of the FAS that is 392 okay remember that cause in the part A what we will be taking FAS crystals will be taking that crystals after that <coughs> sorry excuse me FAS crystals will be taking after that we will add half test tube of dilute H2SO4 and dissolve the crystals will add the water and dilute up to the mark and will find the normality that is the weight of the crystals into 4 and the equivalent weight by uh, equivalent weight is 392 okay in the part b what will you do is remember this guys first ba back titration will be doing remember this b c i e that is b c i e okay what is B? Burette. What is C? That is conical flask. What is I? Indicator. What is E? End point. This can be followed for all the group A experiments in chemistry engineering first year. Okay. Mm, burette. What is B? No. Burette. We'll, we have prepared in the part A. We have prepared this solution. This solution will be adding into the burette that is FAS solution that we have prepared in the part A okay in the conical flask what we do is what is this um, experiment is all about uh, finding the COD of um, wastewater sample so we'll take in conical flask let us consider this as a conical flask we'll add 25 ml of water okay we have added 25 ml of water after that we will we'll add 10 ml of K2Cr2O7 that is through the pipette using the pipette we have to pipette out the 10 ml of K2Cr2O7 into a conical flask and add a sample of 25 ml of sample water plus in the final we will add 1 is to 1 that is 1 test tube of dilute H2SO4 in the part A we will be adding half mm, test tube of dilute H2SO4 in the part B, we'll be adding one test tube of dilute H2SO4. Okay, and here till here we have finished. Now, what is the indicator? What is the I indicator? That is ferroin. We'll be using the indicator in the CBOD is ferroin. Okay, remember this guys. And end point that is blue green to reddish brown. Blue green to reddish brown. Okay, B C I E. If you don't remember the end point, see this is blue, green to blue green to reddish brown. Here you see the E and here you see E. Remember that blue green to reddish brown. That is indicator. This is burette. This is conical flask. This is indicator. This is end point. What is the end point? If you don't, if you forgot, just see this B C I E something should start with b so blue green to 
reddish brown okay remember that guys this is what i tried to explain i'm sorry if you have not understood i hope you have understood something in this video so please give your like if you have learned something in this video otherwise please just ignore it okay thanks for watching the video thank you guys